Hello, I'm going to talk about the Gaian database uh, today. My name is Patrick Dantresangle. And um, how, what is it really? It's a, we call it a secure, dynamic, distributed, federated database. And what does this mean from the ITA uh, talk you just had before? Uh, that was one of the deliverables for, we did for the military. And basically, it's, there is a lot of data out there that the military cannot access at the moment. So what if we could create a global virtual database that allows us to query all this data with just basic SQL? And even if the data moves and uh, changes from one machine to another one, we still want to be able to find this information. So this is what, why we designed the GAN database. And uh, we had uh, quite good fun to do that. This is an amazing product. So what is really Gaian, right? So Gaian is a lightweight Java application that you can put on all these devices, servers, mobile phones, laptops, Raspberry Pis. It works through connected links or wireless or satellite links or microwave links, whatever it is. We have demonstrated that in multiple different situations. It's a data-oriented middleware. It's not necessarily a database. It allows you to find the data, and it's in the shape of a database. But it's an ultimate federation engine. It can deal with lots of different data types and data repositories. I have um, done that across multiple big data clusters and shown uh, federation views across multiple uh, big data clusters, where actually nobody can do that out of the box at the moment. This is also a networking application. If the database moves, or the machine moves, or the data moves, we can still find the data for you. You don't need to know where the data is. That's the key to it. You know we have some data out there in the network. How do I get the data without knowing where it is? We give you provenance information, so you actually know where the data came from, so you can, do, uh, you can provide some business insights from where the data is coming from, because that is important. This was done for dynamic networks. Things are moving all the time, so you need to know where it's coming from. So how can this all do this automatically, right? That's, uh, that's really the key. We, we designed it, basically, for doing this. So lots of maps and things like this, based on some original paper from Bonobas and Riordan, scale-free networks. We had lots of things to be done, boundaries and scalability and uh, different topologies, including hypercubes and things like this evolution over time. So we did put some math into this kind of thing, right? It's not finished, but it, it gives us a pretty good result. And we know what are the boundaries and how it behaves in what circumstances. That's quite important. So we based it on a biologically inspired organization. What does this mean? It's alive, right? It's, it's dealing with the network and everything else by its, on its own. You don't have to tell it to do things. It will do it on its own, right? It's really alive, and this is a proof, really, here. This is the GAN database is all attaching automatically together in an accelerated way, but basically all these nodes discover themselves, attach together, and then you can start doing queries. This is the result of a qu SQL query coming from this node, telling me wh who, who are the nodes in the network and tell me where they are coming from. So that's real life uh, demo. And we scaled that to uh, 1,250 nodes. That's a Gaian database node of 1,250 nodes. You can query from all these nodes, get the data from all the other ones. We ran out of machines on this one, so then we put it on the cloud, right? So we did that on Amazon and SCP, and this is Tivoli. We, we worked with them, and they were quite pleased with that. They put that into a product that is GNO called SCM Smart Cloud Monitoring uh, since 2013. So this is the underpinning of the cloud monitoring for Tivoli. But we also put it in Blue Mix as well, so we'll be able to leverage that very soon. What is it used for? Well, it's used for the edge of a network, so you can put it into these kind of machines, sharing the data between them, Wi-Fi networks, and they can, you can do predictive maintenance and a bunch of different things like that. Can be there as well. We have worked with oil companies. Um, to do that in retail as well. You can do that at the edge of a network, a moving branch, doesn't matter. There, retail stores, you can put GAN database storing data there. The whole point of Gaian is to not move the data on the network. You only move the query to the data, process the data there, and only get the insights. You never have to move the whole data through the network. It's secure. We have demonstrated that for the military, obviously, US and UK collaborating together. So we have distributed authentication, pushing the, the, the authentication through GAN database nodes. Policy controlled access, we can mask the data as it goes through the GAN database, anonymize it, do whatever it needs to be done on the data sets. This is the ultimate information virtualization technology, really.
and you know these guys agree. So information virtualization abstract the data from the. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs>